Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a Divergent Outfit Lookbook, and I bet you've heard about the movie coming out, and it's also a best-selling book by Veronica Roth, and I'm going to be showing you some outfits I created that are inspired by the five factions. First off, we have Amity, the nice, kind, and peaceful people in the world of Divergent. So, this is their symbol. They are very earthy and like trees and being peaceful. So, this is the outfit I came up with. It's very carefree and pretty and just reminded me of Amity. So, this dress is very multicolored and I got it from Lord and Taylor. Then, I got these fun, sparkly gold shoes from Nordstrom's. Now, my second Amity outfit is a definitely a lot more casual. So, this is the outfit I created. Just very casual, nice and peaceful, but still very bright and colorful. So this is a bright yellow shirt that I got from Naples, obviously. <laughs> and I'm just playing some plain jegging jeans. And these are just plain black flats. They were actually $5 from Walmart, so I definitely recommend getting them. Now I'm going to be showing you Dauntless Chris's Chosen Faction. They are the brave ones and definitely the more risk takers and are not afraid of anything. So this is that my first outfit. It's just kind of casual but still enhances the dauntlessness. So a black shirt and a nice maroon sweater I got from Abercrombie. And it's, you can just use some jeggings or jeans. And then I found these awesome combat boots from Macy's. Now for our second Dauntless outfit. This one is definitely more chic and fashionable than the first one, but still pretty comfy and looks great. So this is what I came up with. It's more studded and kind of punk rocker, but still very Dauntless. So I got this cool black shirt with rhinestones on the sleeves, and you can use some red pants or jeggings. And then I'm just using the same combat boots as before, because I think these look very Dauntless and look like you're about to go into battle. And now for Candor, who are the honest and truthful people in the world of Divergent. And here is their symbol. They have a balanced scale. And make sure you're wearing black and white because that is their color. So this is my first outfit that I came up with. And it's very chic and fashionable. So I got this awesome peplum shirt from Lord & Taylor. And a quarter length sleeve um, lacy sweater and some, just some black pants. And uh, again, I'm wearing these combat boots because they're very durable. And you can go with any outfit. And now for my second Candor outfit. This one's more free and carefree, but still very black and white as usual. So this is what I came up with. And I got this awesome bat wing white shirt with a little bit of black lace on the back. And again, you can just wear, the, wear those same black pants and my $5 Walmart shoes. And now for Erudite, they are the smart and very intelligent ones that value um, intelligence very much. And their symbol is an eyeball. <laughs> so this is my first outfit. It's more professional and with a hint of sparkle with the shoes. So I got this awesome gray blazer with some patches on the elbows from Sears. And now I'm just wearing a light blue button-down shirt, and I got these awesome kind of gunmetally blue-colored um, sparkly toms from Nordstrom's. And now for my second erudite outfit. This one's definitely more comfy, but still embraces the erudite feel. So this is what I came up with, and you. I just got this awesome blue sweater with lace on the back from Delia's. And it's super fuzzy, so I would definitely recommend getting this. And then I got this awesome leather skirt with a zipper down the back. And again, use my $5 Walmart shoes. And finally, my abnegation outfits. Abnegation are the selflessness ones, and I always put others first. And their symbol are two hands shaking together, and I think that's really awesome. So this is my first outfit. It's very gray because they think color is self-indulgent, but it was a hint of pink. So I got this really nice um, gray lacy sweater from Abercrombie and a three-quarter length sleeve shirt from Abercrombie again and some just gray pants or jeggings. And then, yep, $5 long shoes. And now for our second abnegation outfit. This one may not look as great on the floor, but it's super comfy and it's really awesome on. And again, I said awesome. <laughs> so it's this really nice um, sweatery kind of dress and just wear black pants underneath with your black flats. And don't freak out, but I found this super awesome Divergent t-shirt at Hot Topic. And they have tons of other ones that say like Dauntless and stuff. But this one's just great. It says Divergent on the front and has all the five factions on the back. So I hope you guys like this video. And please like it, share it, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.